Hello students, this is again Rinku Yadav and now we will discuss about your poetry sections, poetry number third, Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. Dear students, Pablo Neruda was a poet who got Nobel Prize for Literature and his poetry are amazing. So now we will discuss about his poem prescribed in our course in poem number third, Keeping Quiet. So first of all, we will discuss about the lifestyle of our poet Pablo Neruda. He was born in 1904 and died in 1973. It means he watched World War I or World War II respectively. In this poem, uh, in this uh, poem, the poet also describes us about what type of lifestyle uh, followed by all human beings in this world that created a lot of destructions. So, Pablo Neruda's pen name of Neftali Ricardo Reyes Bosualto, Besualto, who was born in the town of Peral in Shail. Neruda's poems are full of easily understood images which make them no less beautiful. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1971. In this poem, Neruda talks about necessity of quiet introspection and creating a feeling of mutual understanding among human beings. Dear students, you have acquainted the feelings of the poet regarding this poem. So first of all, we will discuss about the first stanza of this poem. So now let us start. Now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Students, there is nothing disturbing in this stanza. This is totally a very understanding topic. So, the meaning of these lines are, the poet requests everyone to count till 12 in their own mind and stop for a while. Maybe, according to the poet, this 12 referred by the poet is the 12 hours in the clock or 12 months of the year. He wants everyone to stop and calm down. The poet Pablo Neruda urges all of us not to speak in any language as we all know that there are different languages spoken in different parts of the earth which sometimes become a barrier in our way of peace. So, the poet asks people not to speak. Not only this, he also wants us to uh, he also wants us to stop moving our arms. By using the word arms, he means the weapon which are used by different countries to raise a war against each other. So basically, the poet is demanding peace from all of us. Dear students, the first stanza is so much interesting. Now we are coming to the second stanza. The second stanza is starting. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and men gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Dear students, in these lines the poet says that it would be a rare situation when there will be no engines working. Here the poet wants to say that if everything comes to stand still, it will be a very different and exotic moment. If all the engines like the vehicles, machines will stop, then there will be a sudden strange situation and the world will experience a sudden calmness which resulted to the mental peace and tranquility. People will not be in a rush to achieve material things one after another. And without thinking anything else, they will feel something happiness in their heart and in their mind. Further, the poet says that the fishermen will also stop and not harm whales in the sea. This means that the poet is urging everyone not to harm the animals anywhere in the world. Here he gives the example of whales which are being hunted for the purpose of food or trade. The poet also wants people to calm down so that they can stop and see what they have achieved or lost. For this, he gives the example of the man who gathers salt, whose hands are hurt. Here, the poet wants everyone to stop for a while in order to see and feel the human being's achievements and how much they have lost for the sake of attaining such materialistic things. Students, I hope you enjoyed the second number para and now we are coming to the third number para. The para number third those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors. 
put on clean clothes and walking about their brothers in the shade doing nothing what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death students in the third stanza the poet wants all of us that to stop activities which are damaging the environment today all the human being are making money by damaging the environment by destroying everything which comes into their way of letting their interesting lifestyle and lavish lifestyle with their activities such as mining deforestation letting the chemical waste into rivers etc the poet asks us not to do so he also requests people not to involve in wars as there is no benefit of achieving such victory in which no one is left alive interestingly he says so because wars and environmental damage will lead to no life on earth rather he wants people to adopt a new approach toward life and mankind he says that you should treat our you should treat your enemy like brother and promote peace and harmony in the world and now the second last or the fourth stanza the poet asks us something special and is that if we were not so single minded if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could perhaps a huge silence might interrupt the sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death in this stanza the poet wants to clarify to all his readers that when he asks them to stop from saying or doing anything he doesn't want anyone to become a non active person non active person is a person who remains idle and doesn't do anything else the poet simply means that we should stop and see the consequences of our deeds the poet doesn't want to see people being killed due to their greed for money and expansion of territories and their lavish lifestyles further he says that people are continuously working to achieve their task without even thinking about their result they are in the fear of death and therefore want to achieve most of the things before their death here the people and especially the poet urges all of them to stop for a while and take some moment to relish on what they have achieved till now everyone here is living a life in which he wants to achieve various things one after another but now the poet says it is the time to stop and see what has been achieved and should be enjoyed this will keep us skip this sadness which has become so prominent in our lives the sadness of not enjoying what we have achieved and greed to achieve what next is in the list to be achieved my dear students this is the second last stanza and now we are in the last stanza the last stanza the poet says all of us that the poet says perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i'll count up to 12 and you all keep quiet and i'll go the poet explains us that the human beings that we should learn a lesson from earth during the winters everything freezes and become lifeless but when season changes it's the one set of spring season everything present in the nature such as trees bird river etc gets life so here the poet by giving example of nature wants to say that all the human being should stop and try to judge their deeds because the earth teaches us the lesson because the destruction done by nature is the greatest thing even to destroy and even to incarnate anything else they try they can try and make their life better with calmness the author told us and sorry the poet tells us about finally the poet says us by ending up by saying that now we will count up to 12 so that we all may become quiet here quiet means to calm down ourselves and move toward the path of peace and harmony after saying this he says i will go he says so as he has conveys his message to the people and wants them to be left alone to think about it and work in the direction of peace students i hope you enjoyed the poem and this poem is not only a poem for all of us this is a suggestion of the poet for all of us that we should not create anything that is resulted into the destruction the poet 
also tells us about that humanity and he requests all of us to become totally silent. I hope my all students have enjoyed this poem. Thank you and have a happy day.